Well, here I have this all together. Big fucking ass magnets in there now. I had trouble with the rotors. This resin is such a slow hardening resin, it takes 10 days to completely harden. So I put all my magnets in place. And these are three quarter inch thick, two inches long by one inch wide. And they're 147 pounds of pull each magnet. So when I did that, I just left it for the night, came back in, and on each rotor, there was two together in the morning, and one like this on this rotor, they were squished together, and this rotor had two together when I came in to, in to check on it in the morning. So I had to make a jig to pull the magnets back apart again with some of this stainless steel all thread, which took me almost a whole day. And I did that while it, this resin was still on it, obviously. But it, it was like, kind of like a syrup by that point. It wasn't hard or anything. So I was able to get it done anyways, but it's not the nicest job. But it works anyway. So there I have the multimeter. There's one phase it's connected to. And I'll give it a... That is over 100 volts just by hand. There's 10 and a half pounds of copper in there. And the magnets are 20 pounds of magnets. Or half a pound each. 15 coils and 20 magnets. Just a matter of finishing it up. Just balancing everything right now. I've got it balanced now, so it's all good. <laughs> 